One of the most influential members of the European Union could be pulling out. Britain's Prime Minister has announced plans for a referendum on whether the UK should stay or go. Global National Sean Mallon reports from London. David Cameron is the latest in a long line of British Prime Ministers to face headaches over ties to the neighbors on the continent. Now, 40 years after his nation joined the European Union, he's proposing a referendum on whether to quit. It is time for the British people to have their say. It is time for us to settle this question about Britain and Europe. Cameron says the vote would happen after Britain negotiates a new deal with the EU and only if his Tories win a majority government in the next election. Two very large uncertainties. Although the UK does most of its trade with the EU, it also gnashes its teeth over the billions it sends to support a giant bureaucracy in Brussels. Cameron is regularly defied and embarrassed by so-called Eurosceptic backbenchers in his Conservative Party. The referendum idea is designed to quiet them. With courage and conviction, I believe we can achieve a new settlement in which Britain can be comfortable and all our countries can thrive. Cameron's stunning move has as much to do with internal politics as it does international trade. His Conservatives are badly trailing the opposition Labour in the polls. And they're bleeding support to a rabidly anti-Europe, anti-immigrant party called UK Independence, or UKIP. Mr Speaker, he's going to put Britain through years of uncertainty and take a huge gamble with our economy. He's running scared of UKIP. He's given in to his party and he can't deliver for Britain. Well, Germany's Angela Merkel said guardedly that she was prepared to listen to Britain's demands for renegotiation. The French say, if you want to go, go. The other day I was at a meeting with lots of British people, in particular businessmen, and I told them cleverly that if the UK decides to leave Europe, we will roll out the red carpet. Renegotiating EU membership as one out of 27 members is no simple matter. And if Britain fails to get a new deal and faces a vote to possibly exit, it will add just one more complication for an alliance that is already straining at the seams. Sean Mallon, Global News, London.